Antifa plans civil war to overthrow government. I have, uh, like, on the border between just a regular rifle and an assault weapon and a uh, sawed off style shotgun. Shit, it's a pain. Yeah, like, supplies. last ditch here. Blue Subaru with a dent on the, on, the side, on the driver's side. That's mine. You go down to, like, the military surplus store, the Navy surplus store, yeah. whatever. You can get, like, a K bar for, like, 30, 40 bucks. And it's just a combat knife, it's a fixed blade five inches or so, but it's just, you strap it on your leg and you're good to go. I mean, this one's like tiny, so you have to really stab them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like last supplies. ditch is gonna be Durham down here. And remember a month ago, we had Mr. Hagman on, Doug Hagman. And he said, we're doing what Veritas has done. We have embedded off-duty and retired police officers and private detectives going to these meetings across the country. And they're handing out AK-47s, shanks, they're planning their attacks on public officials, police, and they're planning the attack coming up the next few months. Well, now we know the date, it's November 4th. But what's most disturbing here, in addition to, of course, the uh, the funding that goes back to uh, Alliance for Global Justice in one case, and uh, of course, all of the normal groups, the Soros connected groups, we're seeing some funding that's uh, a degree or two separation away from uh, the Organizing for Action, Obama's group. Um, and I say that, uh, you know, with, with some reservation, but when you start to un unwind the, the uh, money trail here, and, and that's what we do is follow the money, we can see where uh, uh, the Organizing for Action is part of this, as well as, uh, in, in one case, one of the very well-known opposition research groups that, that provided the, the DNC and the Democrats information about Donald Trump and, and uh, Michael, or specifically Donald Trump, is actually sharing some office space with a local refuse fascism chapter. And I want to make something perfectly clear, perfectly clear, crystal clear, that we are not dealing with uh, anti-fascists. All right, we are dealing with neoliberal fascists. They are neoliberal fascists. Stop accepting the narrative of these neoliberal fascists. The Soros, Obama, Clinton machine, plus the deep state. What are they about? They are ahistorical, non-critically thinking lunatics controlled by the Soros, Obama, Clinton machine, and the deep state. And what is their objective? Their objective is to revise history in their own image and ultimately to destroy our nation. I say no to that. They mean business, and they're being funded by George Soros and others. And they think when a bunch of cops get shot in the back of the head or talk show hosts get attacked or more congressmen get shot, that we're going to roll over to them and follow their political correctness and their globalism and gut the country, you people got another thing coming. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill 25 million people. See, we're winning politically, we're winning intellectually, and they want to overturn that. And they're hopping mad that the economy now is at 3.1, something they say can never happen again. And it's online at current growth rates be a 3.5 by the end of the year. They don't know what to do. And Trump gets these tax cuts through. The economy is going to roar. And what are they afraid of? They're afraid of the cornucopia of the free market. And they're afraid of that. And they're desperate to break this country's will now. Mainstream media is dying. Democratic Party's dying. The Republican establishment's dying. Anti-establishment candidates are winning across the board. In every special election, Democrats are being defeated and establishment Republicans are being routed by patriots. And suddenly the numbers are coming in from black groups, Hispanic groups and others. They're shifting to conservative or libertarian in massive numbers as the awakening accelerates. The globalists push too hard. So what's going to happen? They're going to go to the violence card and they're going to go to the false flag card. This is it. Get ready.
Let's go to Devin in Florida. Devin in Florida, you're on the air. Great. Hey, thank you so much. Listen, I have bought your products, and I got to say they're amazing. Thank Anyone you. who's on the fence, buy it, because I've, I've got Caveman, Superman Vitality, Secret 12, Vitamin Men Infusion. I've got the body armor. Wow, thank you. Wow. You're I the mean, type of listener that makes it all possible. Which nutraceutical no. does you like best? I really like the, the Vitamin Mineral Fusion, to be honest. That's it's amazing. Really incredible. I drank it in the morning, and I swear to you, I felt incredible. Like, I haven't felt in week. My morning was fantastic, and I, and I love you guys. I love the InfoWars crew. And I just want to, yeah, I want to I take this opportunity to tell anybody out there who's on the fence. Just buy it. You will love it. I'm telling you, I've never bought a bad product. What you find in our news is the same thing you find in our products at InfoWarsLife.com. It's a win-win, InfoWarsLife.com.